So when you think about 3D printing, you may think about 3D printing little toys and gadgets, little things you can fidget with or put on a shelf somewhere. But there are a lot more uses for 3D printing than that. So we're going to look at 10 different uses for 3D printing that go beyond the little toys and gadgets that we often print. So let's look at some of those uses. We're going to start with some really personal ones and then we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Number one, replace things that go lost or get broken. My family has a favorite game that we like to play that has these little wooden rabbit figures that have to go around a board. Well, we played the game one evening and the three boys were supposed to clean it up when we were finished, but someone forgot and the little puppy came along and found one of those little rabbit figures and chewed it into little pieces. Well, of course, they were mad at each other. Now one of our favorite games was messed up. We can't play anymore. Well, 3D printing to the rescue. We just 3D printed another little rabbit figure. So now the game is complete again and we can continue playing. So 3D printing comes in really handy for fixing a lot of those little things, replacing a lot of those little things that go lost or get broken around the house. Number two, 3D printing is great for solving all kinds of little problems around the house. So one example of this, I don't like to buy gift bags. So I always keep all the ones that I receive so that I can re-gift them. And I was storing these on clothes hangers in a closet and the coat hangers kept bending and eventually breaking under the weight of all the gift bags. And then the gift bags would get all wrinkled and messed up when they fell to the floor. So I decided, hey, I can 3D print a better coat hanger to hold up these gift bags. And so I just quickly designed something that would be thick and sturdy that could hold the gift bags in the closet. And so now this is thick enough and sturdy enough that even when I have a lot of gift bags, it can hold it up and not have any trouble with the weight of that. Now that's just one example. We've done a lot of other things around the house, like uh, fixing the little latch on the watch, washing machine door or uh, designing something to hold up a vacuum hose. So there's lots of things you can do around the house to help with organization and just you know fixing those little nuisances around the house that sometimes need uh, fixing. And another great use of 3D printing is to make personalized gifts. So be it for a birthday or Christmas or whatever gift giving occasion you have, being able to personalize it with someone's hobbies or interests or just their name can make your gift extra special. So for example, I had a friend whose grandmother had passed away and I wanted to, to come up with something that I could get for her, but I really wasn't sure what that something was. And then I had a picture of her and her grandmother together. I thought, hey, I can, I can take that and make something special with it. And so I took it and turned it into an ornament. Um, it's called a lithophane ornament that lights up and has that picture of her and her grandmother together on it. And she'll have that then every year to remember her grandmother with. And so making those little personal gifts can be a great benefit of 3D printing. Number four, make party decorations. So if you want to have a party, especially if you want to have a particular theme, you can 3D print different items to kind of really help set the mood for this party. So for example, when my son wanted to have a Lord of the Rings birthday party, there's not a lot of Lord of the Rings birthday party stuff out there to buy. And what is out there to buy is expensive. So I was able to just 3D print the stuff that we needed for the cake, for the tables, whatever we wanted in order to really make this a really themed birthday party. And so get creative and you can make some pretty amazing parties. Number five, visualize construction projects. So when you get ready to build something new or maybe to remodel something, you generally have some sort of sketch or drawing that shows you what it's going to look like. But for a lot of people, it can be hard to look at a black and white sketch and really figure out what is it going to look like when it's all finished? Will this fit? Will that fit? And so having an actual 3D model can make that process a lot easier for the average person to see, hey, this is what it's going to look like. So for example, I had a friend who was getting ready to remodel a kitchen and she had a piece of graph paper out and was trying to figure out, do I put the stove here? Do I put the sink over there? 
And I created a 3D model for her so that she'd actually just pick up those pieces, move them around and say, okay, well, I have enough space here if I do it like that. Do I like it like this? Um, or when a university was getting ready to um, design a new academic building, students and professors were having trouble figuring out, well, where is everything going to actually be? And so I took the architectural drawings and created a 2% scale model of that building that could actually take the different floors off and look inside of each one, see where the furniture is, see what fits, what doesn't fit, and what everything was going to look like. So it can be really helpful to get a good, clear visual um, of a construction project before you start. Now, number six is one of my personal favorite ways to use 3D printing, and that is to help design custom tools for people with disabilities. So the thing is, people with disabilities all have unique needs. So their disability is unique, and what they want to be able to do despite their disability is also unique to each person. So 3D printing really allows us to customize something just for each individual person. So for example, we had a man who had cerebral palsy, which means he had difficulty with fine motor skills. He couldn't use his hands really well. But his great hobby was fishing, so he really wanted to be able to fish. So we were able to design a custom tool that allowed him to cast and reel his own fishing rod so that he could enjoy the hobby that he loved. Uh, we also had a student who came to us who wanted to be able to 3D print, but he had muscular dystrophy, which meant he was in a wheelchair and he just didn't have really strong muscle control. So we were able to actually 3D print additional pieces for his 3D printer to make it possible for him to 3D print on his own independently. So 3D printing really allows a lot of customization. There's really no end to what you can do to help people with disabilities by using 3D printing. Number seven, make models for doctors and nurses. So the medical community is changing quickly because of 3D printing. So there are lots and lots of ways it's being used, but we'll just talk about a couple of them. So one of the things you can do is print out a model if there's a particular condition, disease, that you want to be able to show someone. So if there's a, a heart defect that you want to show, you can actually print out the model, show it to a student who's learning about that, show that to a doctor who is learning more about that, and you can actually pinpoint exactly what they're looking for. Uh, another way to use 3D printing in the medical community is to actually print out simulations of body parts, like joints or uh, trachea, something like that, so that you can uh, actually do different operations to them. So you could try uh, giving a shot or doing an ultrasound and seeing what that actually looks like, making it a lot easier for students or doctors who are learning new techniques to practice before they actually do this on a, a real person. Um, another thing that's really uh, big in the medical community is creating surgical guides. So you can actually create a guide when you're doing surgery that's custom for a particular patient, a particular surgery, that makes it a lot more difficult for the doctor to mess up as they're doing that surgery. So those are just a few ways that it's being used in medicine, but there are a lot more. Number eight, build houses. You can even use 3D printers to build houses. Now, obviously, these printers are a lot larger than the one you have sitting on your desktop, and they use concrete as their filament instead of plastic, but they're 3D printers nonetheless because they are putting one layer on top of another using a code that's been digitally programmed in. Now, what is the advantage of a 3D printed house? So they cost less to build, they take less time to build usually, um, they require less labor, there's less waste. Um, you can create shapes that would be difficult using traditional methods. So there are a lot of advantages. So we'll see where 3D printed houses go in the future. Number nine, 3D printing can be used to produce needed tools for areas experiencing war or natural disaster or poverty. So a lot of times these areas that are in this kind of turmoil, they have lots of needs, but it's very difficult to get supplies in and out. Manufacturing is down, transportation isn't moving like it should be, and so it's very difficult to get supplies that they need. But if you have a 3D printer and filament, 
there on the spot, you can produce whatever it is that you happen to need. So if you're in a battlefield and you have soldiers who are injured, you need tourniquets, you can 3D print them right there on the spot. Or if you are in an area that doesn't have access to clean water, you can 3D print water filters right there and filter the water that's there so that everyone has that clean water. Uh, a few years ago, uh, the height of COVID, everybody needed PPE or personal protective equipment, but there wasn't enough to go around. Manufacturing wasn't functioning, couldn't keep up with the demand. So we were able to 3D print face shields right here and take them to our local hospital to make sure that our local professionals had what they needed to do their jobs. So 3D printing really allows for that on the spot manufacturing that can be critical during times of turmoil. Finally, 3D printing has also made it to the last frontier or outer space. So think about if you're an astronaut and you were working on a critical mission and you had one particular tool that you needed for the job and you broke it. Now you can't just go to the store and get a new one. So being able to make something on the spot is super important in outer space. So NASA and other space organizations have already been experimenting a lot with 3D printing, both while in space as well as 3D printing pieces for rockets and other space vehicles. But they're continuing to think about even further possibilities. So what's it gonna look like when we go to the moon or to Mars if people actually wanna live and work there? So they've been experimenting with 3D printing with moon dust. So you can't actually take bricks and heavy building materials up into space on a large scale because it's just too heavy. So being able to use the materials that are already there using 3D printing might prove to be super important in the future. So there's lots of possibilities there for 3D printing in outer space. So there you have it, 10 great reasons for using 3D printing. Now, obviously these aren't all the ways that 3D printing is used. In fact, as I was making the video, my husband comes in and says, well, what about using them for costume props? And what about using them for entrepreneurship opportunities? Well, there are lots and lots of other uses of 3D printing, but I had to stop somewhere. <laughs>